Okay, so here's the deal. Raven Simone sat up there on The View and said something that pissed a lot of people off once again. So you know how The Wiz just aired, what, less than a week ago? Excuse me, The Wiz Live with, who was on there? David Allen Greer, Queen Latifah. Wow, there's a lot of people on there. Let me see, the chick from, I think she's from Orange is the New Black. She has some old funny African name. You know those Africans have some crazy names and whatnot. I can't even pronounce that. I don't want to butcher the name. But you know, it had a lot of people in it and whatnot. And for the most part, black folks were kind of on the same page. They were saying, you know, it's the whiz. You know, we have to like it. It's like liking Patti LaBelle or liking, let me see, who else is, is considered to be like infallible to most blacks. Who else is on that list of just immortal, immortalist? Let me see, Patti LaBelle, The Wiz, The Color Purple. They don't like anybody talking crap about The Color Purple. Oprah, Oprah, the goddess Oprah. You you know, don't talk badly about her and whatnot. So Raven Simone with her sexy ass sat up there and said that, you know, well, she wasn't going to say that she was disappointed by the movie. What she will say is that she missed the original cast. You know what? Bullshit, Raven. Keep it 100% funky. Keep it cheddar cheese funky. You know what you really wanted to say was you thought the shit was whack or it just was nowhere near as good as the original. And that's perfectly fine for you to say that, honey, because guess what? I didn't watch it, but I'm with you. You know why I'm with you? Because you thought it sucked, and I thought it sucked too. I don't even have to see it to know it sucked. The simple fact that they put Queen La Lesbian, excuse me, Queen Latifah up there as the Wiz, the Wizard of Oz, why would they have a woman playing the damn Wizard of Oz? I don't see any men trying to play the Wicked Witch of the West or trying to play Dorothy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't see any cats trying to play the role of Toto. You know? So what's the point? Oh, that's right. Because there's an agenda behind it. See, you know what? The Wiz can eat a cream cheese filled dick. I'm not fucking with the Wiz for one reason and one reason only. The fact that they had Queen Latifah with her old ultra supersized ass playing the damn Wizard of Oz. There's no freaking reason for them to have a woman up there unless there's an agenda attached to it. You know? It's like, come on. I wouldn't be surprised she pulled out her strap and started pissing on people with Nicki Minaj playing in the background. Did it on them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, did it on them. Come on now. I'm not trying to watch that old bullshit just for that simple fact. But I will say this. People want to shred Raven Simone's black card. Guess what? I shredded my goddamn black card a long time ago. I closed my account with the black bank. The reason why is because, you know, Raven Simone said a lot of stuff that I personally did not agree with. You know, I mean, I still respect her at the end of the day. But she said a lot of stuff that I just can't co-sign. But this was just her expressing her opinion. And if she thought it was the worst thing she ever saw in her life, why would it matter? I think because of the other stuff that she said added on with this, it just seems as if this is just another example of what her mind state is. That she just is essentially sides with Europeans. She's a European sympathist or whatever, if that's a word. The point is this. <laughs> Oh, man, you got, come on, guys. There's only one thing in the room smaller than my vocabulary. That's my dick. <laughs> Three and a half inches of dick and about 45 and a half words of a vocabulary. Anyways, the point is this. Raven can express her opinion as much as she wants. Usually, I would say, get Raven Simone the fuck out of here with DNA's voice. DNA is a battle rapper. But in this particular instance... I'm going to have to ride with Raven. And I know that this is just completely unrelated to the story. But doesn't she look extra cute in this selfie? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That is a fine red bone woman. If she wasn't out there eating the fish. And if she was into the three and a half inch cocktail weenie snossages. Boy, I would go holler at her on Twitter and make a fool of myself. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels 
visit tiny meat excuse me visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more and follow me on twitter at meat magazine for this three and a half inches